Good morning. This is Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Ariana Newcomer, Deaf Oracle Priestess, and our topic today is the internet. I gave a public oracle reading last Sunday night, and one of the questions from a participant was, how can we teach our children uh, to deal with the internet responsibly? And some of the guidance from Spirit was really interesting. Uh, first of all, they reminded us that the internet is a web. So in the same way that we work with the practice of subtle activism, which we also did in the public oracle reading in which I do in my Wise Women Immersion groups and monthly circles, is send our energy out to help affect positive change in the collective. And the collective consciousness is like a web, and we can create these webs of light, webs of joy, webs of courage, as uh, we're doing in the um, monthly practice with David Nichol and Kate Naga's group. Uh, and we can also send our energy into the internet web. So even though it's an electronic web, it is still capable of being affected by our consciousness. So the guides invited us to do a process, which we did, of sending love into the internet. And then the recommendations for helping our children navigate the internet in ways that, um, that will be helpful for them rather than destructive were in the first place uh, they reminded us that our bodies as humans have a lot of information to give us. And in our culture, we tend to learn to ignore the messages of our bodies, which is really a shame because there's a, a lot, a lot of wisdom there. We have put so much emphasis on the mind and the brain that we've forgotten about body wisdom. And when we come across something on the internet, and this is what we can teach our children, notice how you feel. How does it make you feel? If your stomach starts to tie up in knots, well, that's a sign that this is probably something to stop. If you start feeling really depressed, hmm, that's another signal, time to stop, get offline, go outside, do something to change and shift your your energy setting uh, so paying attention to um, you know oh this gives me a feeling of, of heaviness of grief of uh, and and this all applies for us as adults as well right we can really even though here I am on Facebook I try not to be on Facebook a great deal because I do find that I go kind of down the rabbit hole just reading this and reading that. And of course, that's the way Facebook is designed to keep us on Facebook for as long as possible so they can put the most ads in front of us because that's how they're making their money, by selling ads. So having this discernment, teaching our children to have discernment, how does this make me feel? Do I feel energized? Do I feel better? Do I feel... A sense of love? Do I feel uh, positive things coming from this experience? Or is this experience dragging me into some place that is the, where the collective shadow is really, really living and expressing itself in ways that are not for the highest and deepest and greatest good of all of us? So we all have a responsibility to be discerning and conscious in our internet interactions with the internet, just as we have the responsibility to be conscious in our interactions with each other face to face as humans. So teaching our children to pay attention, okay, how does your tummy feel? Is it kind of ooky? Do you have a kind of ooky feeling? Okay, time to get off the computer or the iPad or the iPhone or the whatever phone. And teach the children to take responsibility that way. It's a way of caring for themselves. And we can forget sometimes as parents that it's important for us to teach our kids to take care of themselves. 
So teach them how to have this discernment on the internet. And we, of course, will need to model that for them. And also uh, what I wanna do this morning is, is take us through a little practice of sending some of that higher and deeper emotion and vibrate those vibrations of love into the internet. So I invite you to join me in doing this and I invite you to do this as a practice. It can be very short, but whenever you are getting on the internet, what if we all took just a minute or two to breathe, allow our shadow cells, our, our unintig unfully integrated parts to just remain behind within us physically, consciously send our highest and deepest and best selves in this resonance of love into the internet as we're getting on. So let's breathe. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> Feel the belly soften. Feel how this action of just consciously slowing and deepening our breath automatically brings us into greater calm and centeredness. And now with this conscious awareness, begin to now, as I said, leaving any of our, you know, unintegrated shadow parts or any part of us that might be angry or upset within our physical self with love, not with judgment, but with love. And think about sending the highest and deepest and best of ourselves into the internet web and see that as filaments of golden light following the electronic, the, the Wi-Fi airwaves, following the wires to the servers and back and out to all of those on the internet. So all of this love is now flooding in to this internet web. And what could we do if this was an ongoing conscious practice for all of us when using the internet. So continue to breathe. Know that also we, each of us, are protected. We're going to actually create a little bit of a kind of a cell membrane around us, like a membrane of white light, so that only what is for the highest and deepest and greatest good can go out from us and nothing that is not for our highest and deepest and greatest good can come in. So that could be another practice. And so before sending love, now I'm kind of doing this backwards, but you can put this before the sending out of the love as you do this as a practice so that there's protection. And we can teach our children to do this too. If this all happens in the imaginal realm. In the imaginal realm, actually, we do affect the subtle energies of things, and definitely Wi-Fi signals are subtle energies. So let's bring our consciousness into this internet world, and let's begin creating this shift. <sighs> so we've set this beautiful membrane around us. Nothing may go out that's not for the highest and deepest and greatest good, and nothing may come in. That's not for our highest and deepest and greatest good as we do this practice. And then we expand our heart energy. Feel that heart energy expand, bringing this energy of love. And let's connect with the love of the Divine Mother, the love of creation. This is the energy of creation as I see it, is love. Connecting with this energy of love and sending now this energy of love out into the internet, into the airwaves, the Wi Fi, the wires, to the servers, and to all who are on the internet, helping to create this great turning, the great shift, the elevation of consciousness of humanity as we do this. Sending love, seeing this going as golden light see it flying on the Wi-Fi wave, see it going right through the wires, see it illuminating the servers in this energy of love. 
and see it going out again from the servers to all others. Sending love. Sending love. Sending only what is for the highest and deepest and greatest good, acknowledging that we may not know what that is, but that is our intention that we're holding. This be for the highest and deepest and greatest good. <sighs> and then bringing our awareness gently back into ourselves. We can maintain this beautiful protective membrane around us. So I suggest that you maintain that as long as you are on the internet. Whenever you're on the computer, on the phone, on your iPad or tablet of any kind, set this intention for yourself or you're watching an internet connected TV. Just take a few breaths, set this intention for yourself, set your protective membrane and set this intention for love to be going from you into the internet. Let me know how the practice goes. I would love to hear. And also for those of you interested in exploring private work with me, I am running a holiday special still instead of 197 for an hour uh, online Zoom session with me. It's only $97 right now. So if you put a comment underneath this video, I will contact you and give you the information about how to schedule that. Looking forward to seeing you again next week for Wisdom Wednesdays and working with you if that is in your path.